Okay. <laughs> this is getting awesome. I mean, it's been awesome. Now it's just even more awesome. This is not fishing. This is this is catching. River rats. The sun is rising. The birds are chirping. And with any luck, the uh, fish will be a biting. Or maybe they won't. I don't know. We're gonna give it a rip. Hopefully, we beat up on them. So let's go. I haven't seen a ton of surface action. Seen a little bit, but not a ton. All right, I'm seeing a few popping. That was a little short. Oh, I guess not. First cast, okay. Probably should have double checked my drag, but here we are. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> I did back her down a smidge. That's a nice one. Barely touched the water. Didn't even get a chance to plop my plopper. All right. Well, hopefully it's not the first cast curse. But it's nice to get one right off the bat. A nice one on top of that. Sweet. Always amazes me how small they are when you get them in after that fight. I mean, he's not small, small, but he fights like he's three times that size. Oh, buddy. I like that. <laughs> Now the dangerous part. Don't freak out. Oh, got one out and then the other one went in. Ugh, I said, don't freak out. It's like, I'll do what I want. I'm a wiper. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Oh, that. I guess that's hopefully how this is going to continue. See ya. I'll check my drag. Yeah, it's, it was probably fine where I had it. Watch that be the only one I catch. Water is low. I'm probably going to wait out there a little ways to get where I saw the ones busting that I did. They got her out there pretty good that time. But is that where they are at? My ploppers, plopping rather funny. Yeah, it's not really plopping so much as, oh, it's because he broke it. <laughs> there we go. He didn't break it, he bent the wire though. Impressive, ooh, that water's chillier than I thought it'd be. Saw one break over there. Oh, there was one on it immediately. Get her plopping. And they, they are biting. Well, that's kind of crazy how that seemed to work. Oh. I don't hate this. <laughs> oh, he's a bruiser, man. So much power. Yeah. Not much surface action, but obviously they're here. <laughs> so much awesome anger. Cookie cutter, the last one. Stuff to beat that for cookie cutter size, though. He's a little sandy, but he's still awesome. I don't know how much long or how long this program can last in a little spot like this. I don't know how many can be here, but at least two. And I'll show you something funny here in a sec. All right, buddy. See ya. Water's a little chillier too, so seem to be releasing pretty good, which I like. I replaced the trebles on these cheapo whopper ploppers, which I will link in the description for anybody who cares. And uh, he already bent that one out. Yeah. Might be replacing them again. I, th 
they got pliers to bend it back. We'll see how long that lasts. I should probably back my drag off too if they're gonna be bending them that easy. Maybe I should get some 2x trebles. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I brought pliers. Because I forget such things, but I got this. I'll make a jig. All right, got her bent back. When I say jig, I mean like a machining jig, not like a fishing jig. Oh, there, there they go again. Just watched a shad die. There's quite a few fish in here. They're just on the other side of that ripple thing, which is fine. That gives me some room to wade. There, they're busted. I'm short. Will it matter? Yes, it will. <laughs> oh, there was one that blew up on it. Well, that was pretty neat. Too bad I couldn't cast that far. Oh, yep, there we go. That's looking kind of white bassish. She's okay. Because they are fun too. Maybe not. Maybe small wiper. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, it's a wiper. <laughs> Come here, buddy. You can bully them a little. Like traditionally, I've used spinning gear just because, you know, what I use for walleyes, I kind of use for throwing all lures. But about this bait caster for topwaters and such, you can bully them a lot more. Uh, I thought we were done. Nope. Man, you grew up quite a bit. You're probably just like the other two. Oh. Never get tired of it. Yeah, you are. Just about like the other ones. Still dandy status. Well, not dandy. You're not a dandy yet. You could be someday. I hope you do. You're, uh, you're definitely a fun sizer. I don't know what the differences are. He's chunker though, sweet. Bye. Oh, angry fish. Possibly the angriest fish that I fish for on a semi-regular basis. I'd like to do that another 20 times. At least one more time, you know. Always dreamed of hooking a wiper that makes me question my line capacity. It's happened a few times, but uh, I'm always thinking about it. So when they start ripping line off, you're like, I hope I have enough. Oh, there we go. I made a cast and didn't catch a fish and was going to sleep. He came off. I wonder if he just bent the hook out. These hooks are not what I hoped they'd be. Nope, I have no excuse. He just came off. Maybe I just suck. Nibble on the edges a little more. Oh! Oh! Yep. He hit it and didn't just hit it, but lost his little wiper bind. Now he's, he's going back to the bank. <laughs> no, he's actually pretty. Nice. Okay, he's running at me. I mean, I don't have him close because he's beat. I have him close because he just happened to come close. Well, he's borderline beat. He had a lot of vigor. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it. Spines, gill plates, hooks everywhere. 
Here we go. Almost. Yep, got one. Oh, okay. Save my hands as much as I can. Okay. <laughs> this is getting awesome. I mean, it's been awesome. Now it's just even more awesome. This is not fishing. This is this is catching. It's been a minute since I went catching. I can see little shad running for their lives through <laughs> through the rapids. This isn't even like a real rapid set. Jeez, do you do you quit? Yeah, it's just shallow rock. But I guess technically that's what rapids are. Maybe it is a rapid. Maybe you call it a shoal. They call this fish not giving up. It's hard telling, but he f he's definitely the hardest fighting one so far. We'll see if he's actually that equates to the biggest. He's fitting in in a good way. Okay, yeah, fitting in. Like I said, not uncommon for that to happen with wipers. Seems like the days you get the absolute magnums are the days that you, uh, fishing sucks. See it? There's lots of times when big ones roll solo. But we have found the school, and the school is awesome size. I'm not positive, but I swear I can see their backs pushing water up. Then he tried. They don't, well, they miss it a fair amount. He missed it for sure. How did you not get hooked? That's kind of amazing, really. Need you guys to center punch one. Now I'm to the point that I like expect a fish on every cast, so I go a minute and a half without one. I'm like, what's going on? Just spoiled, titled. There, I might actually set myself up for success on that cast. Yeah. He's hit it a couple times. Oh, there they're going. They're going. Need to get in there. Except it's too late. Oh no. Oh, there we go. And he just came off. Son of a gun. Hmm. Got a souvenir. Sent the scale home with me. There we go. That was more of a little slurp action. Put my thumb on the spool a little bit when I set the hook that time. He's running. He sh no, he's not. He's just little. <laughs> Wiper? Little wiper. Ugh. Ow. That might draw a little blood. It's fine. Can lose up to a pint and still be good, right? Oh. Wait, thank you. Thanks for playing, bro. There we go. I see him. I just reeled right through that little chaos. There we go. He must have been distracted and had to go track it down. It does always amaze me when you see him busting like that and you reel right through it and you don't get bit. Oh yeah, that might be a fat white bass. Yep, that's exactly what that is. Magnum fat white bass. Very much appreciated. 
It is weird how when the water is low they mix in together. Doesn't seem to work that way other times of the year, or at least not as much. So many hooks to watch out for. I love that. These are like my guilty pleasure, big white bass. All right, see ya. They're not the most prestigious fish in the world, but I love them. When they make the spring run and you catch them on jigs and stuff and little creeks, I'm a sucker for that. That is my idea of a good time. So is this. I think the most ridiculous part is that it doesn't even feel like a morning where they should be hitting good, but here they are hitting good. What do I know? Let's try and catch one on a spinnerbait. A little sip of coffee sounds pretty nice too. I don't even know if this rod can handle a spinnerbait that big. It's not a giant spinnerbait, but it's definitely not a giant fishing rod either. Oh, spinnerbait works. Cool. You about took the rod out of my hands. This is not the prototypical spinnerbait rod. That's the rod I own. Like I said, mostly walleye tackle. That is double duty. Yeah, sometimes you go subsurface and or just switch it up. That's what it takes to get one to go. Angry little fellow. Not that little. Magnum white bass. Stop. You quit that. Football fury. If you're wondering what brand of spinnerbait that is, um, I don't know. <laughs> Cheap one. Oh, don't tell me we're going to get one on the first cast and not get any more. They're not going to tell me that because they can't talk. I always wonder. Oh, there's a beaver swimming around over there. Is he coming over here? It's past that beaver's bedtime. And I have had times where it just slows down and suddenly you get into a handful of them again, but it just doesn't feel like that kind of morning for some reason. But and again, it didn't feel like a morning where we'd have the action we did. I just wanted to give it a rip because I haven't tried this style. Been doing a lot of catfishing. A lot more catfishing this year than probably have in a long time. It's a nice change of pace. There we go. They just started blowing up on stuff again. There's a big old lull in action, and what are you, white bass? Yeah. It's funny how that works sometimes. I guess it's not that funny. I've heard a lot funnier things. They were gone, and then they just swooped back in. One little last snack. Got that bonus fish. Maybe they'll stay up here for a little bit yet. Cool. It is very refreshing just hanging out here in the morning, just standing in knee deep, fast running water and watching the world wake up. Again, I enjoy those little things. There we go. That was pleasant. He's actually fighting. Is he gonna get big or? No, I don't think so. He's spirited. They're shrinking. 
think I'll keep you for bait. Should be able to get some shad, but you know what? Never mind. I'll just go get some shad. I brought my throw net. You know what? If I get one more, he's going to be bait. There's one more. He might be a little big for bait. <laughs> You get just a big white bass, a fat bass. Usually a decent wiper sends off, you know, takes off on a run. White bass just stay heavy, but fight hard still. He's definitely staying heavy and fighting hard. Oh, well, you might be, what are you? You're a fat white bass, barely hooked, but very fat. chubby one that was fun this has been fun morning I'm I mean having fun is pretty fun I've been having fun oh suddenly we go three casts in a row Another nice white bass, I think. He freaked out on top, though. It's not even a top water, and it turned into a top water. Oh, yeah. You're just big enough where you're going to turn me into a liar where I said I was going to use one for bait. See ya. The wipers appear to have left and have been replaced with fun-sized white bass. So it went from a good time to a good time. Okay, I can dig it. That was a pretty darn fun morning, at least my version of fun, and hopefully you enjoyed it, because I definitely had a blast. But I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna go try to catch me something to eat. But if you like this video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate the heck out of you taking time to watch. Like means a ton. Really does. So you're awesome. Hope you catch a giant.